Hello, my dear. I'm Dr. Alaa Musbah, professor of obstetrics and gynecology, faculty of medicine, Mansour University. Our topic today about aesthetic gynecology, 10 recommendations by the Society of Obstetricians and the Gynecologists of Canada. I have a previous lecture about aesthetic gynecology. You can find it on my YouTube channel in details. But today I'm, I'm just commenting on the 10 recommendation of SOGC published 2022. So this is our target today, our objective, city gynecology, 10 recommendation according to the Society of Obstetrician and the Gynecologist of Canada. So let us start with the introduction. You should know that in recent years there has been increase in the frequency and the types of female genital cosmetic surgery and the laser procedures available to women. Okay, imagine the the how it is increasing from the report of aesthetic society. They said between the period of 2015 and 2019, there is 29.7% in increase in lipoplasty. Imagine how big is the increase. 29.7% increase in lipoplasty. Okay? With 47.9% performed in women aged 18 up to 34 years okay? okay so let us start with the 10 recommendation number one health provider should play an important role in educating women about their anatomy and helping them appreciate individual variation including transition through the reproductive life cycle we know that there is a changes physiological changes happen in any female pre pubertal at puberty during childbearing age during pregnancy and during menopause and in post menopause life okay so Health providers should educate women about these physiological changes and the, their anatomy, or the anatomy of the genital organs and so on. Okay? okay. The second recommendation. For women who present with requests for vaginal cosmetic procedures, a complete medical sexual and the gynecological history must be obtained and the absence of any major sexual or psychological dysfunction including body dysmorphic disorder should be ascertained okay any possibility of coercion or exploitation must also be ruled out this is very important really to rule out any force she is not forced to do that uh, or not doing that for advertising okay you should take care about this and you should rule out this what else in recommendation there is insufficient evidence to support any female genital cosmetic surgery or procedure to improve sexual satisfaction and or self-image okay physician choosing to proceed with these cosmetic procedures shouldn't promote this surgery for the enhancement of sexual function or self-image so you should tell any woman the truth about is there is any increase 
or improvement of self-image or enhancement of sexual function after this surgery, you should tell her. But really, up till now, there is no evidence that there is improvement of sexual satisfaction or self-image. We have insufficient evidence about this. What else? As regard to hymenoplasty, hymenoplasty is a surgical procedure that is not medically indicated. Okay? Counseling of the woman is paramount to provide both reassurance and the accurate information. That procedure doesn't reliably result in the desired outcome of pleading at first marital intercourse. If she think that uh, hymenoplasty will, will, will affect the bleeding in a certain way by increasing or, or whatever, in her first marital intercourse, you should tell her that this is not true or may not happen. The procedure doesn't reliably result in the desired outcome of bleeding at first marital intercourse. What else in recommendation of, this, uh, of the Society of Obstetrician and the Gynecologist of Canada? Laser. What about laser procedure? Laser is not recommended for genitourinary syndrome of menopause or cosmetic genital indication without further rigorous, short, and long-term clinical research. So, we need short and long-term clinical research to say if laser is important or give advantage or beneficial for genitourinary syndrome of menopause or cosmetic genital indication or not. Okay? What else in recommendation? Counseling should be a priority for women requesting female genital cosmetic surgery and the procedures that are not medically indicated. Okay? Topics should include normal variation in the physiological changes, as I said before, over the lifespan. From before puberty till menopause. Okay, there is many physiological changes happen in any female. Okay, what else? As well as the possibility of unintended consequences of cosmetic surgery to the genital area. There may maybe complication may happen. Okay, the lack of both high quality evidence and data regarding outcomes should also be discussed and considered as part of the informed decision making process what else in a recommendation cushion should be used in advertising female genital cosmetic surgeries to ensure such advertising is factual and they're not misleading. So, physician should say defects about the cosmetic surgery or laser procedure to, to any woman asking about this. Defects is important. Without misleading, any woman about this cosmetic genital surgery, okay? So, cushion should be used in advertising female genital cosmetic surgery to ensure such advertising is factual and not misleading. What else in recommendation? Physician 
who see adolescents requesting female genital cosmetic surgery require additional expertise in counseling adolescents really this is very important at, at such young age adolescent girl may take a wrong decision and should be counseled very well before doing any cosmetic surgery okay so she is in need for expertise to counsel her okay what else and recommendations female genital cosmetic surgery must not be performed until genital maturity this is very important to be known to all physician and medical students that female genital cosmetic surgery must not be performed until genital maturity okay so never to do it in childhood never what else in recommendation surgery is not considered cosmetic if there is documented functional impairment which may include structural psychological and or anatomical concerns so we we don't we don't say that this is a cosmetic surgery for example for longitudinal vaginal symptom this is a problem structural abnormality should be corrected this is not cosmetic surgery or when you are doing classical repair for uh, sister rectocele seal for example for prolapse so you are correcting problem structural or anatomical or functional so this is not cosmetic surgery so this surgery is not considered cosmetic if there is documented functional improvement which may include structural psychological and or anatomical concerns this is the end of my lecture today if you need more detail about aesthetic gynecology i have a previous lecture in details you can find it on my youtube channel on this link i'll put it in a comment the 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 site of youtube channel and the my site on amazon where you can find my books published on amazon textbook of obstetric textbook of gynecology contraception handbook multiple choice question book medical disorder in pregnancy and the gynecologic oncology book i'll put it also in a comment in this video you can find it easily Thank you everybody, my best wishes for all of you.